The United States Supreme Court has handed the state of Virginia a pre-election victory. The decision allows the Commonwealth to remove non-citizens from voter rolls. More than 100 election-related lawsuits have already been filed in several states. Legal experts say the decision in Virginia shows the high court is committed to protecting voter rolls. Gary Lane has the story. In a 6-3 to three ruling, the U.S. Supreme Court blocked a federal court decision that would have prevented the state of Virginia from removing 1,600 names from its voter rolls. The U.S. Department of Justice sued the state after non-citizens and other individuals were placed on an inactive voter list within 90 days of the election, a violation of federal law. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin argued the state regularly removes names from its rolls each month when it receives information from the Department of Motor Vehicles indicating an applicant's non-citizenship status on driver's license applications. Virginia Attorney General Jason Miaras claimed a temporary victory, insisting that the state will continue to protect the rights of legal voters. But it should be two standards, easy to vote, hard to cheat. That's the standard we have in Virginia. That's why this is a brilliant winning for, for not just upholding the rule of law, but I just say common sense. On CBN's Faith Nation program, Cedarville University political science professor Mark Caleb Smith said he doesn't believe the Supreme Court stay will significantly affect the outcome of the presidential vote in Virginia. Virginia isn't considered to be one of those really close states. You know, if this were happening in Pennsylvania or Wisconsin, uh, potentially up to 1,600 votes could be pretty important, maybe. In Virginia, I think that's probably unlikely. Uh, but it does at least suggest the Supreme Court may be willing to engage in a way that maybe people didn't think would happen uh, even as, as little as a few days ago. Republicans and various other groups have filed 100 similar lawsuits in other states. In Texas, they're suing the Harris County Registrar for not removing 562,000 voter names from voter registration rolls. Harris County includes Houston, which is the fifth largest city in America. Attorney Jared Whitfield filed the lawsuit on behalf of his clients. He believes that the Supreme Court's decision, while temporary, will have an impact. It sends a very clear message that the United States Supreme Court is concerned about voter rolls or voter rosters to make sure they're accurate. You can only commit the voter fraud when you have a roster that is incorrect. So it's so important in order to maintain the integrity of our elections to make sure at that starting point, at that voter roster, that it's accurate and correct. While the Supreme Court's focus on voter rolls is significant, this is not the conclusion of the Virginia case or similar cases. Courts across the country are preparing to hear hundreds of election challenges in the coming weeks and months. Gary Lane, CBN News. Well, the, the Virginia case, it, it seems to be causing quite a stir, and it really doesn't make any sense to me that it would. Uh, the federal government, tried, the Department of Justice, I should say, tried to say, well, it violated a 90-day rule that you can't do things within 90 days of an election. And the Supreme Court has come in and said, well, wait a minute, before the 90-day period, if you're a non-citizen, by definition, you don't get a right to vote. Uh, we don't extend voting rights to people who aren't citizens of the United States. And so this is a normal process. And Virginia said every single month we're reviewing our uh, voting rolls to make sure everything is, is correct. But here's, I guess, sort of the bottom line. Uh, I'm pretty sure 1,600 votes in Virginia isn't going to make a difference. Uh, when you look at the number of Democrats in Northern Virginia and the city of Richmond, they tend to carry the state in every single election. Uh, and Virginia, like much of the nation, is divided, where the uh, mountain regions, uh, Southwest Virginia, are, are staunchly Republican, but Northern Virginia, Richmond, are staunchly Democrat. And then here in the Hampton Roads, Tidewater area, tends to be split. And so when you have those big population centers voting, uh, that pretty much decides the, every election for Virginia. So it's not going to make a difference. And that is needs to be the message. Uh, all of these lawsuits when you get right down to the actual number of contested votes, it turns out to be very small. And that contested vote really doesn't make a difference in the larger election outcome. Here's what will make a difference. You making a decision to actually vote. If you're a citizen, please participate in our democratic republic. It's because of your vote we get to elect representatives uh, to champion our causes in the Congress, the Senate, 
the White House and the State House and the local city council, local school board, all of these elections really matter and they need our participation to make it all work. So please resolve, you will vote and you will vote on a regular basis.